All right, so now we're going to watch strangers rank themselves by weight. This ought to be interesting. Blindfolded versus reality. Uh, they just dropped this video yesterday. So, yeah. Let's get it. Hey, shout out to Ayana for subscribing with Prime. I appreciate you. Let me scoot myself on over real quick. There we go. If you had to rank yourself against others based on a specific trait, what would it say about how you see them? Dang, and that's scary. Layla, she remind me of a girl that I once knew. Mm -mm -mm. How they see you. To find out, we brought together six people, blindfolded them, and had them rank each other based on their perceived weight. Then we rearranged them based on their actual weight. This Wait, they must be serious about protecting they set because he was wearing shoe cover. Other based on their perceived weight. Then we rearranged them based on their actual weight. This I told y'all Jubilee. There's nothing off limits with Jubilee. Oh, JJ said this is insulting food, already. Vegetables and fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, y'all love vegetables and fruits. But I also some of y'all ain't eating enough uh, fruits major sweet tooth. or vegetables. Also, Shoot, uh, partake in the sweet tooth. <laughs> um, I feel. I guess. I mean. I have a sweet tooth too. Is anybody here on a strict diet? I was on the keto diet. It was tough because you know you limit yourself keto. Uh, specifically on carbs. Anybody on a on a keto? You said you love fruit. What's your favorite fruit? Shout out to whoever. Damn man, I gotta put that on the screen because I can't see who it is, man. I cannot see who it is. So let's do that. I cannot see who it is. Oh man, that didn't work. Okay. Oh, Jubilee, still horrible after all this time. <laughs> yes, I am basically a rabbit. Really, a rabbit? Oh, I eat all the fruits and veggies, and I'm still fat AF. Whoa. Wait, what is what the hell do rabbits eat? I don't even. A rabbit seems like it would be like a pretty a pretty cool pet, actually. Right, but once I saw like the numbers on the scale, I was like, okay, this is this is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I did it for two years, and um, you know, it two years is a long time. It's a long keto. time. Like my doctor is like, you should not do yeah. this. Like, Grapes is fire. I love me a strawberry. Two years, but I'm like anemic, so oh yeah, so I get a little dizzy sometimes. I think any sort of restrictive diet, um, I have like a pass with like. EDs and stuff like that. So I just made, I went from vegan to plant-based. Lettuce, leaves, and carrots. To make it like a less of a, I don't know, toxic Ooh, kind of feeling. Oh, plums are underrated, man. I don't hear enough issue. people talk about plums. I might be generalizing here, especially in America. I think there's a definitely like food addiction problem. And I, I definitely have felt it in my life, just food overindulging addiction. a lot. I grew up in two different households, so like my I'd dad's side, he always cooked, and then we had to eat more vegetables. You go to my mom's side, and she works all day, so she doesn't cook, and I usually ended up getting McDonald's or something Plums over there. Like the convenience thing, mm -hmm. yeah. I think food, when I was younger, a lot of it Kendrick, can be seen as like a coping mechanism. If you were someone who might have been experiencing some kind of, you know, trauma or, you know, even just elementary, just being bullied and stuff like that, it's just such an easy thing to just find like pleasure in. Like the comforting thing. Exactly, yeah. it's super comforting. Also, reward. Man, I used to be a, a, a comfort eater, like for sure. Uh, that was me. Anytime I was stressed, and typically it was sweets. Actually, every single time it was sweets. Like that was that was my go-to. Was like so at the time, like especially when I was like a teenager. Like if you caught me eating anything like candy or sweets or something, like nine times out of ten I was stressed about something. Something. I I mean at this point I don't know what it was, but yeah, I was definitely one of those comfort eaters. Like if yeah. I, yeah. I had like stay a good out. work always. day or something or like that, broke like, out. I deserve yeah. Whatever. Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, you can't do that every yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that's the hard part about it, right? You want to reward with it. You want to punish with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. everywhere. I feel like since I've become vegetarian, it's definitely limited Ooh, vegetarian, my man, access that's, to certain junk, that's junk foods. I think a big reason as to why I became vegetarian was to help manage my weight. My boyfriend is vegan, but I would never be able to be vegan. Jar and Nutella? then he wants me to cook for him. I'm like, oh, Jesus. What do I do? <laughs> What's y'all's Is Nutella really that healthy? Activity? Like, do you do it to look a certain way or do you do it? Hold on. Is Nutella really that healthy? Nutella is hella sweet. I mean, I'm not saying that it can't be healthy because it's sweet. I'm just saying that when I did have it, though, like, I don't have it that often, though, but I, I did enjoy some Nutella with some uh, pretzels. I think the, the first time I actually had Nutella was. Um, I was like 24 or something. Nutella isn't healthy. Peaches, cherries, mangoes. 
because like you enjoy that or it. boredom because eater. I'm a new I've never been a boredom sometimes eater. Sometimes I feel so dizzy already, and I know that if I work out, I'm just gonna feel like crap the rest of the day. But I do mm. want abs. You know what I'm saying? Man. I don't have the kind of discipline that a lot of people do when it Let comes me tell to work. You something, man. Trying to trying to get and maintain abs, man. Forget all that. It ain't even worth it, bro. Isn't every time I start to get some abs, every time my diet gets thrown off, it's over. It's over. It ain't worth you know, it, man. If you view it as Forget discipline, though, like I feel like maybe viewing you got it as damn a near way starve of, like, yourself. I don't know, like a fun activity versus like I want abs. Abs kind of is thing. all diet, that, man. That's like spot on because like for years I've been going. No, to it's the not gym healthy. Nutella's like forty percent sugar. Comfort <laughs> in eating is so nice, but so dangerous. Since September you fall into it so easily. You do. Week, three, Definitely five do. Hours a day. My particular thing is weightlifting. Um, cardio is something I've never been friends with. Rich, man. how often do you say you go to the gym? Now. Uh, I would say probably two to three days, um, just because my motivation hasn't been on par. Would you say like, were, were you portraying that in your food as well? Cause like I go to the gym a lot, but I'll go home and eat pasta, right? Oh, like, I got you. No, I, was, <laughs> I was a swimmer for like 10 Adept years time. and I got like jobs and all that stuff. And I didn't work out for two years and I got into pole dancing, which I've been doing for like two years now. So I hey, got like- Hey, shout out to all the pole dancers again, out there. Is there like... any pole dancers in the chat? I would say that, I, that I'm moving <laughs> pretty much all day. I usually hit the gym. Micro macros too much. My husband is about to start leaning, and not looking forward to it. You sports, don't want him to so lean out. Been pretty active. Based off of the fact that I believe I might be taller than Sabrina, I think she should move to the right of me. Okay. I don't. I don't think I should be the lightest. Is what I'm saying. No. I, think. <laughs> I don't think so either. Uh, you're definitely in the top two, my uh, boy. I think. Was it Layla? Yeah, I think you should yeah, be you need to. all the way where Steve is. Why Only after a couple drinks. Over there? <laughs> Not a pool, but jazz, ballet, and vegetarian. contemporary. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> I was going to go based off of like, basically It deserves to be an Olympic small, sport. But like not in a bad way. Do you get cold? I get cold a lot. Okay, yeah. so and you don't have meat probably. Like, to so work. <laughs> Dang, is that how you judge it? it? I knew that I was probably going to be on the far left side. I think I her and Steven should switch yeah. us up. Is that Bye, how you judge Steven. it? If you get cold? Bye, easy? Sabrina. It's been good standing next to you. I know. <laughs> Bye, Rich. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, so you're Steve. Carmen, aren't you vegetarian? Yeah. So I think we should switch. <laughs> and you dance, right? Oh, yeah, you yeah. definitely yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. All right, so I'm next to Sabrina now. Yes. I can't do Wait, the veggie life, man. That's tough. Me on my right. Rich. Not Rich. for too oh, long. Still here. Still here. I think we should switch spots. I, just, I yeah, I'm just going based off of how tall he sounds. I would agree with yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You can hear how tall he is in his voice. That's wild, ain't it? Yeah, you're all the way to the left. Yeah, you know what? Foster boy stay down there. Yeah. Steve does not need to be at the end. Based off, based off what? Based off of him working out seven days a week. Mm, oh, true. Okay. Seven? Rich said he goes to the gym two to three times a week, yeah. whereas Steve At is a little more active. Slip. The pasta. Going up. <laughs> now who's this? I'm, I'm still <laughs> next to you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're good down there. Down where? Oh, down where? <laughs> down where? Yeah. 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 I Everybody think we're good it. down to the smaller side. Okay. okay. Regardless, you all sound like seven feet tall. Like I, could, I could not. Wait, where do you think you should be? Yo, shout out to the editor. Yeah. yeah. That was dope. I think you and Ruben should I was going to say me and Ruben. I don't know, Ruben. Let's I, do it. I would love to try pole dancing, but my other body strength is trash. Sabrina Ruben switch. Yeah. Okay, we can do that. We're literally the same person. Now who's this? Hey, Sabrina, so how's it going? Does anyone feel like they're in the wrong spot right now? I still do. <laughs> so I like think carbs? at least <laughs> Steve and I should switch. At least. I felt like she was wrong because, again, like just hearing her voice. I would like to learn how to pole like dance one day, learn a few I would things. I never considered her being bigger. What you trying to do, Taylor? So when she, she was trying to learn herself, a few things, I felt like she might have just been trying to learn I what? Not truthful, but I feel like she was just she was talking down on herself. Can I say the program that I'm doing? That okay, I'm in a weight loss program. So I'm in a bariatric being cold program. Is a symptom you can have I'm in the line to do VSG surgery, and that's where they cut off 80 percent of your stomach to allow you to lose weight. I am in that. I never program, even heard of that before. I think I should switch. Can I say something really quick? Sure. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina, I I did that program. What? Whoa. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So that what I'm <laughs> you guys? Man, I want to take off my mask and hug her. Like that was wild. You you hear someone going through that, and you know what it takes. I like to his watch. That, okay, you know my what boy. It takes to. 
to say, I'm doing it for health, you know, screw everything else. This is for my health. I want to, I want to move forward. And yeah, when I heard that, it I was just it, like, but my I make heart a fool of myself. Start flipping. That was, you weird. know, we got to start Congrats somewhere. On making You're not going to be choice, perfect at it. By the way. Right. Yeah. I, mean, I, I tried pole dancing that's, in that's Vegas. A, that's a, that's I ain't never been in Vegas. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. Yes, ma so if she feels very adamant about switching positions, I think she knows herself better than we do, obviously. I think if you want to do it, you can do it. I think so. A little do -si -do. Who is happy with the current order of the line? I think for the most part. One, two. They'll be rearranged. Three. Oh, they wait, they take it off oh though? God, oh, so yeah, I can't even see. Hey. Yo. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> no one looks the way I thought they did. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, not at all. I thought Steven was like seven five. I'm not going to lie. Dude, I thought he was, was a tall. <laughs> I was like trying to do the I was going to say, I don't think we got it wrong. I never done pole dancing. I would put myself at the end from the start since I don't know oh. who's there. In spot number five, we have Carmen at 138. You'll get hooked. In spot number four, we have Ruben. I'm not going to say too much right here, but you got to keep folks on their toes. <laughs> you got to keep folks on their toes. Oh, boy. You got to stay mysterious. I never doubted you guys. <laughs> so I, I guess I can reveal this now. So I actually, in the past four years, I've lost 150 pounds. I actually used to be 441. So I feel a lot better about myself. And I focus on it like every day. Mine is a big part of my life now because I want kids and stuff and you have to be healthy to do so. In general, how I look, like I went to Mexico and even my friends were asking like, why aren't you posting any pictures? And I'm like, girl, cause they <laughs> ugly. <laughs> like I didn't like how any of the pictures were coming out. So I literally came home from Mexico and called the doctor and was like, can I join the program? So well, you're not ugly, so I don't yeah, say no, that. I don't say all. like, nah, no, you're not ugly. You're so I don't know why you wouldn't want to post pictures. Yeah. You're beautiful. <laughs> I'm not saying like, because you are trying to lose weight, that inherently makes, that shouldn't make you dislike the pictures. Like, mm -hmm. I think you're beautiful regardless, but you can do exactly what you want to do with your body. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, I used to weigh 450 pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, I've, been, I've been big my whole life. The food addiction thing was what got he looked like he could be related to um, that very, very the uh Went sober three Thor? years ago got the bariatric two and a half quitting food was harder than quitting alcohol mm -hmm. and that that wow. shook me it's it's wow. just as easy as saying i snapped my leg i needed to be surgically that's crazy fixed. I, I was at a point where my he said quitting my food is harder than so quitting broken. alcohol I I really fixed. don't I even i never had an ounce of alcohol so i don't know misconception that i hate is that it's the easy way out but mm -hmm. they don't see the the hard mental process and what I'm going through now to fix the identity issues I was working through and all this stuff. There's a lot of me still broken from that. I just want to say mm. to you, I feel you were pushing yourself down there. Now that I, and you too, now that I'm here, I realize I wasn't bad, bad shit. <laughs> I realized I wasn't that bad when I was there, mm. you know? So like, don't think you guys are in the shit right now, right? Like this is the beautiful part. And I think don't my view of me. body positivity Thanks. is pretty up yeah. because when I was trying to lose weight I had everyone here in LA saying nah you're beautiful don't yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm like nah I'm unhealthy right yeah. like I'm dying like you know yeah. it's not about my beauty right, 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 right. being the lightest one here yeah. I'm like anemic says I'm real borderline pre-diabetic I have a lot of issues just because of like my lifestyle but you know, I can't necessarily carry the weight. Just because I worked mm. out a lot, I did a lot of sports. I was always so thin, and when I stopped, so people would like, they always assumed I had like anorexia, like all this like different stuff, and I was fine. I was like eating fine. And then when they stopped making the comments, I thought that I had like blown up basically. And then that I developed like the body dysmorphia. And then I was having like eating disorders. And like when I lost weight doing that, people would compliment me. And like that's like where they equate size to health and I was like losing hair and like the least healthy I ever was. Mm. But since I was small, they were like, oh, like you're healthy. It's definitely important you guys find yourself because as a big guy, I, I attributed my identity to my size. Right. Yeah. And now I'm stuck in therapy trying to find out who I am, right? 
because I, I was big Steve forever. My whole life, I've been big rich, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I have body dysmorphia. Mm -hmm. Well, I still see the dude that was 450 yeah. pounds in the mirror. People think that when you lose weight, like the battle's over, but mm -hmm. there's a whole mental thing that you're supposed to address mm -hmm. as well. And if you're struggling with weight, whether you want to get big or get small, just understand there's a mental aspect to it and you want to address that as well. And um, at the end of the day, love yourself, you know, be healthy, but um, there's, there's more to it than just the physical, I would say. Mm. Look at that. To learn something from it. Jubilee. They got deep out of nowhere. You know, Jubilee like to be messy. They like to be messy. But this is a solid episode. This was a very solid episode. I didn't expect them to be preaching on here. Okay. All right.